Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a full body Pilates class for beginners. You won't need any equipment, just yourself and a mat. So when you're ready, let's begin. Let's start today's class in a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Place your hands onto your rib cage. Then inhale, allow your ribs to expand into your hands. Then exhale, close your ribs in and down towards your hips. And again, inhale, ribs expand sideways into your hands. Exhale, ribs close in and down to your hips. Keep going. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth. Two more. Bringing your awareness into your breath and into your body. Last one. Inhale, ribs expand. Exhale, ribs close in and down. Beautiful job. Interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you, and then reach your arms up to the sky, keeping your ribs closed in and down. Really lengthening through the sides of your waist, stretching through your arms. Then release your left hand to the floor and stretch your right arm over. Turning your chest up towards the sky, feeling a beautiful stretch through the right side of your body. Return through center. Interlace your other finger on top now. Press your palms away from you and then reach your arms up to the sky, keeping your ribs in. Really lengthening through your spine here, stretching through your arms. Then release your right hand to the floor and stretch your left arm over. Then return through center. Bring your legs out in front of you with your knees bent. Hold on to the back of your thighs and very carefully round your spine, vertebra by vertebra, down onto your back. Walk your heels in towards your glutes. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart and your knees are bent. With your hands pressed down into the mat beside you, let's just take a few articulations through our spine. Let's start by imprinting our spine. So press your lower back down into the mat, then come to a neutral spine where there's a little pocket of air between your lower back and the mat, and then arch your spine, creating a big curve. Return through neutral, then imprint your spine, pressing your lower back down to the floor. Return to neutral, and then arch your spine. Keep going. Just carefully rolling through these different spinal positions. Let's do one more, rolling into an imprinted spine, a neutral spine, and then an arched spine. Return to your neutral spine now with just a little pocket of air underneath your lower back and walk your heels in towards your glutes. Take an inhale to prepare then exhale, imprint your spine, continue to tuck your pelvis under, press through your heels and lift your hips up. Inhale at the top, then exhale, roll your hips back down, vertebra by vertebra. And again, inhale to prepare, exhale, tuck your hips under, lift your hips up, inhale at the top, then exhale, roll your hips back down. Let's do two more like this. Really press down through your heels and squeeze your glutes at the top and then roll your hips back down with control. One more, exhale, roll your hips up. Inhale at the top, then exhale, roll your hips back down. On your next exhale, roll your hips up again, really squeeze your glutes and let's take little pulses. So you pulse your hips up and up. Nice exhale and exhale. Just six more and five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top, then exhale, roll your hips back down with control. 
return to your neutral spine, then inhale, lift your left leg to a tabletop position, exhale, extend it out long, keeping your ribs drawing in and down, inhale, re-bend your knee, then exhale, set your left foot down, other side, inhale, lift your right knee, exhale, extend, inhale, re-bend your right knee, and exhale, set your foot back down, keep going, alternating leg each time. Make sure that when you extend your leg out, that you are not arching your spine. You really want to keep your ribs drawing down towards your hips. So use your breath to help you. Nice inhale as you lift your knee. Exhale through your mouth as you extend your leg. Inhale as you rebend and exhale, set your foot down. We have two more like this, moving with as much control as we can. Last one. Well done. Release your arms up to the sky in line with your shoulders with your palms facing forward. Exhale, reach your left arm back by your ear, then inhale, return through center. Other side, exhale, reach your right arm back, ribs stay in. Inhale, return through center. Just one more on each side. Really draw your belly button down towards your spine as you reach your arm back. Good job. Let's add our legs now. So inhale, lift your left knee. Exhale, extend your left leg as you reach your right arm back. Inhale, re-bend your knee, and exhale, set the foot back down. Other side. Inhale, lift your right knee. Exhale, extend your right leg as you reach your left arm back. Inhale, return through center, and exhale, set the foot down. Keep going. So as you extend your opposite arm and leg out, really focus on keeping your ribs in and drawing your navel down towards the floor. Let's do four more. Try to keep your shoulders down and back and away from your ears. Just two more to go. Inhale, lift your left knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, set the foot down. Last one. Really good job. Interlace your fingers now and place your hands behind your head with your elbows wide. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, lift your head and shoulders up and drop your ribs down to your hips, then inhale, lower your head down. Exhale, curl up, inhale, lower down. Keeping your chin slightly dropped down towards your chest and your gaze at the top of your thighs. Let's add those legs now. So exhale, curl up. Inhale, lift your left knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. And exhale, set your foot back down. Then inhale, lower your head. Other side, exhale, curl up. Inhale, lift your right knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, set the foot down. And inhale, release the head down. Just two more. Really using your breath to help you here. Keep drawing your navel down towards the floor. Really keeping your ribs closed in and drawing down towards your hips. Well done. Release your hands down by your side now. Imprint your spine and then lift your legs to a tabletop position making sure that your knees are stacked over your hips. On your inhale, drop your knees over to the right, then exhale, draw them back through center with control. Other side, inhale, drop them over to the left, and exhale back through center. They don't need to go far, just a little bit over to one side, and then bring them back through center with control. Let's do four more. 
keep your shoulders nice and relaxed three more two maybe drop those knees over a little bit further and last one excellent job okay final ab exercise keep your legs where they are Take your hands behind your head with your elbows wide and lift your head and shoulders. Reach your left arm by your hip and let's pump our arm. It's inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more rounds on this side, then we'll switch our arms. Last one, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Switch your arms and let's continue. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep dropping your chin down towards your chest, drawing your navel down to the floor. You've got it. Two more rounds. Let's go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Excellent job. Rest your head, hug your knees in, and take a quick little breather. Then grab a hold of behind your thighs and carefully rock yourself up to seated. Let's stretch it out. So bring the soles of your feet together, your knees apart. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, and then exhale, hinge forward. Keeping your spine as straight as you can so that you feel a nice release through your hip flexors. Then come back up, and let's now cross our legs, shift our weight forward, and come onto our hands and our knees. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, and your knees are underneath your hips. On your inhale, arch your spine, open through your chest, roll your shoulders back, then exhale, round your spine and gaze towards your navel. And again, inhale, arch your spine, open through your heart center, exhale, round. Just two more. And last one, nice deep breath in and deep breath out as you round your spine. Beautiful. Let's find our neutral spine now. So nice flat back, really draw your navel in and then extend your left leg back, flexing your foot. On your exhale, lift your leg straight back, then inhale, lower it back down. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Six more, keeping your hips square to the floor, really finding that nice squeeze in your glute as you lift your leg. Just three more, keeping your gaze just in front of your fingertips. And last one, hold your leg lifted and point your toe. Come on to the fingertips of your right hand, really draw up through your navel and then see if you can lift your right arm in line with your ear. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, pull elbow to knee, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend. Six more. As you exhale, think of that rib to hip connection, really drawing your ribs down to your hips. Only two more. And last one. Hold everything extended and let's take eight pulses up and up. Nice exhale each time that you lift your arm and leg up. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good job. Flex your left foot, set your foot down. Then inhale, open your right arm up to the sky, turning your chest. Then exhale, thread your right arm through the left, pressing your right shoulder down to the mat. This should feel like a nice stretch for your shoulder and for your spine. Then come back up, re-bend your left knee underneath your hip, 
and let's take another cat cow stretch inhale arch your spine look up then exhale round your spine and gaze towards your navel then return to your neutral spine really draw your navel in and let's extend our right leg back flexing our right foot on your next exhale lift your right leg back behind you squeezing your glute inhale lower it down exhale lift inhale lower six more make sure that you're not arching your spine as you lift your leg up so keep thinking of that rib to hip connection i know i'm a broken record <laughs> two more really drive through that right heel and last one hold your leg lifted point your toe come up onto the fingertips of your left hand then if you can lift your left arm in line with your ear take an inhale to prepare then exhale pull elbow to knee inhale extend exhale pull inhale extend keeping your gaze down on the mat just a few inches in front of your fingertips you've got it use your breath exhale pull inhale extend two more and last one hold everything extended and let's finish with pulses up and up nice exhale and exhale just four more three you can do it two and a one flex your right foot set your foot down open through your chest lift your left arm up to the sky and exhale thread your left arm through the right pressing your left shoulder down into the mat really enjoying this beautiful stretch then come back up and let's now come on to our side so lie down all the way onto the left side of your body with your left arm long, resting your head on your arm. Bend your knees at a 45 degree angle from your hip and then place your top hand onto your hip and push your hip away from you so that you find a nice lift through the underside of your waist. Then exhale, open your knee, inhale, close. Exhale, open, keeping your toes together, inhale, close six more like this make sure that your top hip is staying stacked on top of your bottom hip and that you're not rolling your hip back as you open your knee you want to keep that hip nice and still two more and last one good job keep your legs in the same position just lift your feet off the floor then exhale, open your knee, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Six more. Try to stay lifted through the underside of your waist so that there's a little pocket of air between your waist and the mat. Just three more. Can you open the knee out a little wider? Two. And last one, let's hold our knee open reach your arm up to the sky and flex your feet squeezing your heels together just press your right knee back and back just six more five four squeeze your heels three two and one well done release your bottom leg down and extend your right leg long in line with your hip pointing your toe place your right fingertips on the mat in front of you then inhale bend your right knee pull your knee forward extend your leg straight and exhale kick the leg back so inhale bend extend your leg forward exhale kick back two more in this direction keeping your leg at exactly the same height last one beautiful let's reverse inhale kick the leg forward exhale bend and extend the leg back inhale kick forward exhale bend and extend back two more keep thinking of lifting up through the underside of your waist last one let's hold our leg extended back and draw eight circles let's go eight seven 
six, five, really lengthen through your toes and your leg, two, and one, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, flex your foot, reach your top arm up to the sky, and let's take eight pulses up and up, six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Release your top leg, press yourself up, and let's come into a mermaid stretch. Inhale, reach your left arm up, and exhale, side bend over to the right. Then return through center, and let's now take it to the other side. So come down onto the right side of your body, Stretch your right arm long and rest your head on your arm. Bend your knees at a 45 degree angle from your hip and then use your left hand to push your hip away from you to find that lift in the underside of your waist. Exhale, open your left knee, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Really opening your left knee out as wide as you can without rocking through your hips. Three more. Two. And one. Keep your legs in the same position. Lift your feet off the floor and really push that hip away from you. Exhale, open your left knee. Inhale, close. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. Try to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. We're just concentrating on our legs here. Three more. Maybe open that knee out a little bit more. Two. And last one. Hold your knees open. Reach your left arm up to the sky and flex your feet. Press your left knee back and back. Just six more, five, keep those feet lifted. Three, two, and one. Release your bottom leg down to the floor and extend your left leg out in line with your hip. On your inhale, bend your knee, extend your leg forward, then exhale, kick the leg back. Inhale, bend, extend forward, exhale, kick back. Just two more, and then we'll reverse it. Last one. Well done. Now let's kick forward on our inhale, bend your knee and exhale, extend back. Inhale, kick forward, exhale, bend and extend back. Two more and then we'll take it to those little circles. Last one. Hold your leg extended back. Really push that hip away from you and draw eight circles. Eight. Seven, six, nice long leg. Four, three, two, one, reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Final move, flex your foot, reach your left arm up, and let's finish with pulses up and up. Just six more. Five, four, three, two, and a one, release your leg down and prop yourself up for that mermaid stretch. Inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, side bend over to the left. Okay, now it's time to work our arms. So let's return to our hands and our knees for that tabletop position. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Really draw your navel in, engaging your core. Roll your shoulders back for me. On your inhale, bend your elbows down towards the mat, then exhale, straighten your arms. Inhale as you bend, keeping your hips high. Exhale as you straighten. Just three more like this. Really staying nice and lifted through your navel, engaging your core. Just one more, you can do it. Working those triceps. Good job. Now really draw up through your navel for me. 
shift your weight into your right hand and reach your left arm back with your palm facing up to the sky. Let's flip our palm down and up. So you're just rotating your arm down and up. Good job. Just four more, you can do it. And three, keeping your spine nice and straight. Last one, hold your palm up, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Good job. Set your left hand back down and let's repeat. So back to those tricep push-ups. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Really focus on keeping your elbows in. Be careful that they don't start to open out to the side. Last one. Good job. Shift your weight into your left hand. Reach your right arm back in line with your body with your palm facing up. Flip your palm down and up, down and up. Six more like this. Five, four, keep drawing up through your navel. Three, two more. And last one. Hold your palm up, little pulses up and up. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Excellent job. Release your right hand back down and let's press back into a well-deserved child's pose. Flip your palms up to the sky to release any tension through your shoulders and just take a nice deep breath. Okay, for our final series of class, let's come on to our bellies. Stack your hands in front of you and rest your forehead on your hands. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart in parallel and that you're really lifting up through your navel, slightly tucking your pelvis under. On your inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest and your head off the floor, then exhale, lower your head and your chest back down. So inhale, roll your shoulder blades down back towards your hips to lift your chest, and then exhale as you lower back down. Just two more like this, keeping your gaze down to the floor. Last one. Well done. Hold your head rested on your hands, really draw your navel in, then exhale, lift your right leg, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift your left leg, inhale, lower. Keep going. Really squeezing your glutes as you lift your leg and really reach back through your toes. Four more. And three. Two, and one. Let's put those two moves together now. So on your inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, exhale, lift your right leg, inhale, lower your leg, exhale, lower your head. Other side, inhale, chest lifts, exhale, lift your left leg, inhale, lower, exhale, release your head down. One more on each side. You're doing really well. Last one. Okay, final move of class. Either stay with that exercise, or if you want more of a challenge, extend your arms forward in front of you with your palms facing in. Then lift your chest off the floor with your gaze down. Lift your right leg, and then lift your left arm up. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Keep going. Really lengthening through your spine. This is our final move. So let's now speed it up. You just switch, 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 switch. Four more. Three, two, and one. Excellent job. Release yourself back down. Press yourself up and back into a well-deserved child's pose. You did it. So take a nice big inhale through your nose and exhale, sigh it all out. 
Roll yourself up to a seated position, vertebra by vertebra, and then make your way onto your glutes. With your knees bent in front of you, hold on to the back of your thighs and carefully lower down onto your back. Cross your right foot over your left thigh, opening your right knee, and carefully hug your left leg in towards your chest to feel a beautiful stretch for your right glute. Then release your arms out by your side. Place your left foot down on the floor and keeping your legs in the same position, just drop your legs over to the left. Maybe taking your gaze over your right shoulder if that feels good for you. Carefully return through center and let's switch sides. Cross your left foot over your right thigh and hug your right leg in towards your chest as you open your left knee. Then set your right foot back down, release your arms out by your side and drop your legs over to the right as you look over your left shoulder. Carefully return through center, hug your knees in towards your chest and then roll on to one side to press yourself up to seated. Let's find a cross-legged position in the middle of our mat, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your right arm up, exhale, side bend over to the left. Then other side, inhale, reach your left arm up, exhale, side bend over to the right. Then return through center, take your hands in front of you and carefully walk your hands forward, coming into a nice stretch for your hips and for your back. Walk your hands back to your body, switch the crossing of your legs. Take your hands forward and carefully walk forward into your forward fold. You should feel a nice release for your lower back and for your hips. Then walk your hands back towards your body. And let's finish class today with one last big inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's Pilates for Beginners class. If you wanna see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.